Hey guys, welcome back to AFK Journey. In today's video, I want to do a little update of everything that's happened over here on the test server and on the socials over the weekend. I didn't get a chance to make a video over the last day and a half or so. So the first thing we're going to look at is over here on their Twitter. They did make the first post of Luca coming. So Luca will be the next hero. Once again, I'm pretty sure he is going to be an A-level. I'm assuming we will get more details in the next day or so based off the fact that if we go over here on the test server, Tassie does have seven days and 23 hours left. Now, when we had um, Tassie actually come in, the previous banner had eight days left. So I'm assuming this guy will be up on the test server um, basically tomorrow unless I'm missing something in my timings out, but we should have Luca on the test server tomorrow. So maybe later today, you'll get some info with me. Maybe they release a trailer or something like that. Who knows? But at worst, I reckon tomorrow is going to be the day for Luca to go ahead and drop over here on the test server and we can get a look at him. Now, keeping in mind, we do have our, uh, not events, That's that was the next thing I was going to go to, uh, but we do have our quests uh, over here. And as you can see, we've just had the weekly reset, which now we are going to be able to go ahead and get that A-level swap. So if you did go, I mean, I don't think I'd be swapping away um, the Sinbad if you did do build him up. We'll have to wait and see if Luca is there. Uh, once again, just we need also confirmation that Luca is going to be an A-level, but we will be getting that A-level after this week on the test server i believe for the global server is going to be one week after that um unless i got that wrong and my calculations were off but yes this is definitely getting close so you know if you've got a ton summon saved and you reckon you can go for the next s level or you went for tassie and you want to swap her away well you can have that option to go for the luca if he's an a level once again got to wait for confirmation uh, and then you can do use that swap pretty soon it is going to be another couple weeks after that before we do get our s level swap just keeping in mind that one but that s level swap at least on the test server should be here by the time we get the next character after Luca. Uh, but it might be a week late for the global servers. I, I have to double check where that is at. But just note that that stuff is coming up in the not too distant future. Now, moving on past that, uh, when we take a look over here at the Noble Path, over on the test server, we do have a new fabled road that has just come out a couple days ago. Uh, I believe that'll be like a day away on the global server. This one is giving us some of the raid up tickets and also some stargazers. Uh, free to play, I think you're getting something like eight or so of the raid ups and maybe two stargazers. You know, it's just another thing that just make sure you do your daily quests and stuff like that and you'll eventually clear through it. Um, also, the weekly things did backtrack, so when it comes out on Global, make sure you just do your weeklies as well. I had to rush through and do a couple, uh, a 10 pull over there to get that finished just before the daily reset. But we did get that one. You are also going to get from this one uh, the outfit as well. But, I mean, it kind of... It kind of makes me think Stormwind from WoW. I don't know why. It's giving me, like, Stormwind vibes. <laughs> That, that's what I'm getting from it, but very, very light bearer esque. Uh, you know, I, I'm not one who's massive about changing my avatars, outfits, and stuff like that. I think I am still wearing that uh, outfit that we were forced into putting on for the quest. Yes, I've still, <laughs> I've still got this bad boy on because it is the last thing that I personally really care about. Now, the other thing after that is going to be over here. When we jump into the events, we just had a new Hidden Currents event start. So just note this one will be coming over on the Global. It is a one-week event. They seem to be rinsing through these one-week events. At the start of each week, we get a new event that's basically just giving us 10 summons. Uh, and away you go, you get your 10 summons. Sometimes they are giving us some Velvet Vouchers and other stuff. You can see here we're going to get the extra daily rewards. And then over here, we get some extra diamonds for fishing achievements. Uh, you can see these ones are going to unlock over time. But they do give us a couple extra diamonds, but nothing too crazy. Essentially, when this one comes, just do a little bit of fishing and you'll be right to go ahead and get yourself another 10 pool and some of the velvet tickets. Now, I would definitely love to see more events kind of along the style of this one, which is the Fall Carnival. Like I mentioned before, I have enjoyed this Fall Carnival. However, one thing that I have noticed, I haven't done it in about a day, is the, um, the auto. There is one thing I wish they would do. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I wish with auto... It would do, and this is just a bit of feedback for them. When you land on one of the uh, tiles that makes you make a decision or something like this, uh, I think it's the decision one. So let's go. Okay, these ones auto through. The decision ones take... Let's, let's just see if we can get to it. Okay, here it is. It took me a while to get there. But these ones like this, the incident iceberg... 
they need to make these auto select one because w what I found is even though I had a bunch of fun in this like the first time when it came around and I was going through it and it was fun uh, you do get that many dice that it's kind of nice just to set it or walk away from the computer and go do other stuff or put your phone in your pocket and do other stuff but it gets bricked on these types of things and you've actually got to click it to select now the ones where it just gives you stuff like you pop up and you get the dividends or whatever um, those will just disappear after like three seconds but these ones it actually stops at so my feedback to them on this is I like I said I really like the event I think it's cool it's very interactive um, really fun at the start but when it's like so intensive on the amount of rolls you get I would like the auto to auto select this so that if you're someone who doesn't want to engage too deeply with it it can just run through auto through this and then keep going because as you can see here now I have to select one now I have to close it and then it will continue on with the rolling. So I would love to see that. Let me know if you guys have any other suggestions. But like I said, in general, I do like this event that it is a bit more interactive. There's stuff to do. Like I said, even if you're just autoing this along through the whole way, it is that thing where you can come back, you can do a little bit of rolling. And it, it, I don't know, it just has a bit more to it than do a bit of fishing and you get the, uh, the temple. So I do like this one. Let's go ahead and end that. Anyway, let's, let's kick, kick the auto off. Beautiful. Once again, this is where we would have got stopped, but that is what it is. Now, the other thing is keep grinding out those. Let's go back over here. Oh, no, I, I was meant to. That's, I was there to collect my eternal inscription. Oh, dude, we killed it. We killed it. No, no, I didn't want to kill it yet. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There it is. I was hoping we hadn't killed it yet. I was too slow. What are we? We are 24 minutes after the reset and I missed my final attack. Ah, rip. But there we go. We've got that. So over here on the test server, we are cleared with this one. Let's have a look at it. Okay. But the, the big pearl spews out. Get around the pearl. All right. Let's get, let's get our goodies then. Uh, I believe, even though I didn't get to do my attack, it should grant me the, um, the attacks worth of rewards. Yeah, so it still grants me those rewards anyway. So it doesn't matter that I didn't get to do the attack. Look at me in the top 10.15%. Dude, I am getting absolutely just dogpiled over here on the test server. District 1 is the worst thing you want to fall into. Same with global server. If you're on some of the early global servers and you get put in a district with server 1, it's just like, yeah, you, you, you just you ain't getting anywhere, team. You ain't getting anywhere. Ooh, yoink. We get some, get some extra free dust not too bad but that pretty much caps up everything i wanted to talk about like i said we'll get the new fishing event jump in do a little bit of fishing get that extra 10 pool when it does come on global maybe that will be a week away on global i'm not too sure because of the uh the intermittents i'm not sure the actual timing of those um and then once again we do have the new path which is also out as well and then we do have the Luca on his way. Hopefully, like I said, they give us some more information today that we can go over. If not, I'm, I'm anticipating that tomorrow is going to be the day that we can go ahead and take a look at Luca in game because... Once again, Tassie only has a week left, and that is normally the overlap that they go ahead and uh, chuck on us uh, with the new heroes is once the one has a, a week left... Then we get the next one in. You run two of them for a week. That one disappears. You run the other one for a week and then another one runs in. So seven days and 23 hours. Let me just make sure after the reset, we didn't get uh, Luca over here in this one. I doubt they would have dropped him in, but let's just have a quick look. Light Bear is not Sinbad, still the last one. Anyway, guys, that is my little update of what's been happening on the test server and coming to the global server. But as always, thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.